He is known for his significant contributions in the field of chemistry, particularly in the synthesis of peptides and the discovery of several important compounds. He is recognized for his pioneering work in the Curtius rearrangement and his discovery of diazoacetic acid, hydrazine, and hydrozoic acid. His name is Theodore Curtius. In the realm of chemistry, one name stands out, Julius Wilhelm Theodor Curtius, a German chemist whose contributions have left an indelible mark on the field. As a professor of chemistry at Heidelberg University and other esteemed institutions, Curtius dedicated his life to unraveling the mysteries of chemical reactions. His groundbreaking discoveries and inventions have paved the way for significant advancements in the scientific community. One of Curtius' notable achievements was the publication of the Curtius Rearrangement in 1890-1894. This groundbreaking concept revolutionized organic chemistry by providing a method to convert an acyl azide into an isocyanate compound. This rearrangement played a crucial role in the synthesis of numerous organic compounds and opened up new possibilities for chemical transformations. Moreover, Curtius is credited with the discovery of several important substances. In his research, he uncovered diazoacetic acid, hydrazine, and hydrozoic acid. Diazoacetic acid has since become a vital building block in organic synthesis, enabling the creation of various pharmaceuticals and agrochemicals. Hydrazine, on the other hand, found applications as a rocket propellant and in the production of polymers. Lastly, hydrozoic acid is a highly explosive compound that has been utilized in the manufacturing of airbags. Additionally, in 1882, Curtius accomplished a remarkable feat by carrying out the first-ever peptide synthesis. Through his pioneering work, he successfully created the unprotected dipeptide, benzoylglycylglycine. This breakthrough not only expanded our understanding of peptide chemistry but also laid the foundation for further advancements in the field of biochemistry. Julius Wilhelm Theodor Kirsch's contributions to the world of chemistry are nothing short of extraordinary. His discoveries, such as the Kirsch's rearrangement and his groundbreaking work in peptide synthesis, have forever shaped the landscape of scientific research. His profound understanding of chemical reactions and his innovative spirit continue to inspire scientists and pave the way for future advancements in the field of chemistry. Theodor Curtius, a renowned chemist, was born in Duisburg, Germany, and had a passion for chemistry from an early age. He studied under the guidance of famous chemists like Robert Bunsen and Hermann Kolbe, earning his doctorate in 1882. After gaining valuable experience working with Adolf von Bayer in Munich, Curtius became the director of the analytical chemistry department at the University of Erlangen. His exceptional work led to him being appointed Geheimer Regierungsrat in 1895. He then held various prestigious positions, including a one-year appointment as the successor of August Kekulé at Bonn University in 1897. In 1898, Curtius returned to his alma mater, Heidelberg University, as a professor of chemistry. He remained there until his retirement in 1926, leaving behind a legacy of excellence in the field. His contributions to chemistry were so significant that he was succeeded by Carl Freudenberg, who later wrote Curtius' biography. Outside of his professional life, Curtius had many interests. He was a talented musician and enjoyed composing music. He also had a love for mountaineering and was a founding member of the Kiel section of the Association of German and Austrian Alpinists. He formed a close friendship with Christian Klucker, an alpinist guide, and together they embarked on many mountaineering adventures. On February 8, 1928, Theodor Curtius passed away in Heidelberg, leaving behind a lasting impact on the world of chemistry. To commemorate his achievements, the Heidelberg University Archives holds a photo album from 1907, which documents the 25th anniversary of Curtius receiving his doctorate. The album showcases pictures of fellow scholars, laboratories, and buildings, providing a glimpse into the rich scientific environment of the time. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.